Hello and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be reading this bad boy, the Hammond Collection Connor Torch. Finally got my hands on it in the stem out for like a month or since November 2023, but I've been buying these guys. So I haven't really had now then after a dentist appointment or something boy some big weeks now saying I stayed still enough that way it saved some money anyways my mom decided to get me this so thank you to my mom though none of you watching this video will probably ever know who she is so but just yeah anyways this once I take out the gal minus is, is arguably, but in for sure in my opinion, the best Mattel figure yet. Like, it's as close as Mattel is going to get to be cinema's art taste. Now before we get into the actual figure, let's take a look at the box. I knew I was going to review this thing, so I saved the box. Okay, hey. Box kind of standard for him, but <clears throat> I really like how they upgraded the boxes now. Like it looks so much better. I like there's more room to see the dinosaurs. It's pretty much the same thing, but then with the logo and that up there, and they have this big thing with the actual dinosaur there itself, which looks really good. Another one, and then. On the back, no, it doesn't have that like movie scene picture. This just then you have a nice big bold thing of a figure, and you got showing sure off the eyes and poses, and then also the other figures. So somehow Mattel doesn't put normal boxes; they just put like the code for them, not the actual name. Which this is a real step up. A step up. Anyways. You guys don't really care about the box. We are here for this Carnotaurus. Ah. Now, one thing to point out immediately. This thing has actually proportionate feet. And it can stand. Okay, yes, Mattel. It just fell over. But you can get this thing on one foot as easily as any other figure. It's a little harder to stand sometimes. But, like... <sighs> take up too much time in the review and just like show and action pose this look this is a picture I took last night I got it on one foot in a cool dynamic pose Mattel just give them all proportionate feet they do not need to have feet this big for like their body size this is awesome okay Mattel look it's Seriously, this is an awesome figure. Just, I don't know, even looking at the tail. Still got that rubber thing, but it's got these two joints. Really nice articulation. None of the legs. So many poses you can do with this thing. Roaring, like, if you saw my stop motion I made yesterday, you'll see, like, how beautiful this figure is. Like, even let's go. Sadly, you can't, like, turn the head, like, you can't swivel it like this. But still, side, up and down, and side to side on this neck. And then here, too, on the head, side to side, up and down. An interesting thing with this figure is, like, the jaws. If you open one, it opens the other. Like, I don't know what it is. Mm, point, just looking at this head. This head is beautiful. It's got a nice glass eye. Sometimes you can't really see the pupil. But like look, there, you can see it just fine. This thing is just beautiful. You can see like every scale, like Just looking inside the mouse, it's 
filled with glossy. It's perfect. And then we got the nice rubber teeth, so then you don't have teeth this big. The head looks awesome. Like, seriously, this thing is near Beast of the Mesozoic perfection. It only has like four flaws, which compared to some of the other Mesozoic with like multiple flaws. Like, the only flaws is a little bit too big arms, not painted dew claws not painted fingernail claws and then i found this out in a in, in marco makes review of it technically this head sculpt is spot on except the top that overlaps the bottom which makes the cheeks a little too far out but still does that really matter this is besides like jurassic justin's stuff the best mid the best articulated dress face ever made. Like, it is beautiful. Like, paint over, like, I just can't get over it. You can do so many good poses. And then arms, just got two joints. I don't know, I really feel like they didn't necessarily, I don't think they need to do that with the arms. They could I would have been just fine if the arms were just like this and one mold and it was a little smaller, so I don't really care. Got nice feet here. Got all four joints in the wall. So you can do dynamic poses. You can have it running. So let's see if I can get to get it on one foot. Oh yeah, there. It's on one foot. It was as easy as that. Mattel, that's all you gotta do. Like, I don't know why they go make these carnotauruses and everything have huge feet. It can stand just fine like that. Actually, I might keep it in that pose on the on my shelf. Like. Yeah. Anyway, moving on with comparisons. Here we have the accent make, or um, what was it called? Control Conquer Toro. Really, you have to pin Control and Conquer Conquer This is just a repaint of it. Yeah. Then here's the action attack contours. Now they even collection condos just normal rough size. Here it is with the Hammer Collection Ceratosaurus. I don't know, I think this is the only, like, the closest human collection you could get to it. Um, here it is with a human figure. Also, if anyone's watching this and you're liking the content, please subscribe. Okay, please, please subscribe. Please like and subscribe. I want to get subscribers. If I get subscribers, I could get monetized. And then have more money to buy more of these figures. And, I don't know, get like a studio to do these reviews, which makes them better quality. So, yeah, consider subscribing. Anyways, moving you know. Here's with the Mattel Red Rex. I don't have the Hammond Collection T-Rex. But, so... Yeah, and then the final comparison, because I compare, like, every figure, because uh, on my channel, I just, the Hayman Collection Very Honest is, like, my mascot for this channel, so it's a comparison with it. Anyways, really hope you enjoyed the video. Now, um, I think right now one of those, like, card things at the end with, like, a link to the video, next video, yeah, click on one of those. I'm sure you'll enjoy that video. Like, I really, like, I can't think of really any of my videos that I've had, so maybe you'll enjoy it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.